Good morning and thanks for joining me. My name is Gary Nicholas. I'm the Digital Pest Management Manager for Bayer. I'm going to be talking uh, this morning a little bit about Bayer's Digital Pest Management Platform, our DPM, uh, which as some of you will be aware of. Um, but I particularly want to, to use the time uh, to help you visualise how you can transform uh, your business approach to delivering your services when integrating DPM. Firstly, let me just give you a quick overview of what DPM is, what the Bayer system is for, for those who aren't familiar with, her, with it. It's a, it's a digital pest management platform uh, developed by Bayer together with Microsoft, uses LoRa technology, uh, connects smart traps, both rat and mouse, indoor and outdoor to our cloud-based system via a central gateway. And this enables remote uh, rodent monitoring uh, whilst collecting daily data produce, to produce digital reports, analytics and trends from the data collected. And it's all brought together um, and, and, and it's uh, very well laid out uh, on our, uh, on our friendly, user friendly system. The dashboard is where you would usually view and access the functionality and that's particularly impressive. And, and as a package, it's, it's a really powerful tool allowing PCOs to deliver a transparent, audit ready, compliant, truly integrated pest management service. One of the obstacles um, for businesses to get over when, when facing a transformation from a manual system um, to, to a digital uh, innovation such as DPM uh, will, will be the, the mind shift challenge. And this is true of all business sectors, not just in the pest management industry. But embracing digital whilst integrating it with what we're so familiar with. Well, we can all quite easily recall and draw on past experiences uh, with ease. But of course, if we haven't been using uh, digital methods such as DPM in our servicing of customer sites and businesses, and we don't really have those same experiences to draw on, and, and this can hold us back. And it can even place obstacles in the way for us and, and obstacles that, that needn't really be there at all. Of course, Digital technology isn't new and, uh, and our customers will already be using it in other parts of the business and we use it ourselves uh, in, our, in our daily lives for a num and we've been doing that for a number of years now. But changing our business and, and the work activities around it can at first seem da daunting, but, but it needn't be. Uh, and I say that it needn't be because this transformation is something that, that Bayer of a com as a company uh, have, have had to go through. So, so we do understand um the, the challenges of, of the transformation and if you think about Bayer up until recently product development would have been led entirely uh, by the use and need for chemicals and that's what Bayer are known for so so the very same transformation was needed across the Bayer businesses uh, to bring in such an innovations as satellite technology and satellite imagery to perhaps help farmers manage crops or rail operators manage weeds on the rail networks and of course, um, to develop and commercialise digital pest management. So we've had to transform and, and the transformation is sort of what I'd like to talk about for the next few minutes, um, if I can do. So we, we, can, we can draw from some of the experiences and lessons learned from, from our colleagues over in the USA where, where DPM um, has been, has been commercialised for a number of years now. And, and of course, my, my uh, counterpart in the US, Scott Broaders, um, has put together a nice methodology and, and he refers to it as the learn transform win methodology and because he recognised that his team over there recognised that it, it can be difficult for, for, a, for an industry such as pest management um, to, to have this and it is, it is a huge shift from, from doing things that we've done for, for many, many years um, and having this tool that's available to us but, but learning how we're going to make it work for us individually for us as a business and also for, for our customers. So uh, I'm going to focus on the, the transform element because I think that's absolutely key to everything. Uh, I'd just like to talk through that a little bit this morning. But just to give an overview of what the methodology is, uh, the learn element of it is, of course, that we need to not only learn the technology and learn how to use the technology, but what we also have to do is, is learn how to get that vision um, to our, uh, to our, our team members within our businesses. Um, it shouldn't shouldn't be quite as difficult to do that uh, with the with our with our customers and clients because, like I say, 
they're using it and, and will have been using it uh, in other parts of the business for uh, for some time. Uh, and then, of course, we go through the transformation and, and we come out at, uh, at the, the, the win element of the methodology. And win will mean different things to different people, but ultimately it will mean that everybody's now enabled and empowered and comfortable with, with the technology uh, and how to make it work for them and make it work for the customers. But uh, like I say, this morning, I'd just like to focus on that transform element. It's it's key to everything. It's it's what links uh, learn to win and, and gets us from, from where we are with our man manual methods to integrating digital into it. And uh, and it's a, essential to, to embrace uh, the, this, this, this vision for our for our industry because uh, digital is here now and uh, it will only uh, become, become more prominent as we move forward in the future. So considering any pest management business, uh, no matter how large or small it is, all businesses have stakeholders, the people, the individuals with an interest in the business. Uh, and with such a transformation and, and shift of minds, it's important to keep everybody engaged and informed. And, and one good way of doing this is for each business with the vision of transformation to have a champion, a champion of digital, champion of, of the Bayer DPM system. And, and the champion will, will be the person that keeps DPM on the agenda uh, and continues to drive this vision, particularly when it could be in danger of falling off the radar. Um, business needs, customer needs, staffing needs. These are all the challenges that, that businesses face on a day by day basis. But, but the champion can be the person within the organization, within the business that ensures that this digital transformation isn't forgot about and it's not left behind by the company, by the service team, by the sales team and the administrators and of course the senior management team. And it's important to remember that, that DPM is here to enhance and support and not replace anybody within the business. There's room for both the manual systems we're, we're currently using and the dig digital system and that's really, really important to keep in mind. So with our business wanting to move forward with dig digital, let's just take a, a brief look at how different parts of the business can use DPM to the good of, of, of the pest control business, but also of their customers. Let's just take a, a typical business, uh, a small, medium sized business, perhaps um, with, uh, with a service team, with a sales team um, and an administration team. So we look at the service team, the opportunities that that digital now opens up for the service team is that it allows the service team to be a lot more engaged with with the customers. They they are able to use their skills and their knowledge for, for, for this industry in a lot more targeted way. And it gives them the opportunity to use digital to collect a lot of the data on a day by day basis, do the things that I don't know we call them the mundane things or you know, the heavy lifting uh, can now be done by digital. It can do those daily checks of the of the uh, pest monitors that have got the smart traps inside them and it can collect that data and, and produce um, so, some analytics and some trends from that data. And it means that the service team know, know ahead of arriving on site what's been happening since the previous visit. They actually know what's been happening on a day to day basis because of the data that's been collected. So they're now able to focus the, their efforts and DPM digital now directs them to the areas where they can really get to grips with, um, with, with the issues that a site might have um, to the root cause of, of infestations to predict where future infestations might start and, and give some really good meaningful um, advice perhaps on, on proofing and on hygiene but really, really drilling down into to what causes um, pest activity and, and, and pest infestations to start and, uh, and, and to grow. So great for the service team um, that, that can only be um, that can only be good for morale and, and for, for, for themselves, knowing that they're not just going open and closing boxes. And, um, and, you know, there is a lot of time spent doing that so that the time is a lot more focused. If we think about the sales team, well, the opportunities for the sales team, it's a dream. You, as a, as a, as a, my, my background for the past 20 years has been in sales and as a surveyor and as a account manager, to have this wonderful tool that we know can, we can now bring to the attention of, of our customers 
it's a great opportunity for us to reconnect with them, maybe with some that we haven't spoken with that have been really good, loyal customers that have helped our business grow to the, the place it's at now. And we haven't spoken to them for a while. What a great opportunity to, to reconnect with them, to tell them we've got this, this, this really wonderful digital system. We think that you ought to know about it. Um, wonderful opportunities um, to do that, but also opportunities for the, for the, for the sales team when they're bidding for, for new business, looking to win new business. Um, particularly if, if you're a small, medium sized company and some of the larger companies might have already been using a similar system or digital systems to, to win business with. And those opportunities have been not, not available to, 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 uh, to the wider um, pest community. But now it is. So whereas uh, perhaps a tender was asking for how you would bring innovation, how you would bring digital into, um, in, into, the, into the service and you've not even got to the first stage before you've had to drop off. No, you can do. You've got that ability. You've got the tool. You've got the same technology that, that everybody has got. So it levels the playing field somewhat. And again, it's opening up those, uh, those sales opportunities, those business growth and those profit opportunities. And even with, with the administration team, very often the administration team, uh, and it, be it large or small, they, they take the first calls, they're often in contact with, uh, with the customers and, uh, and, and the clients of the business. And what a, what a great way for the, for, for the admin team now to, to make that connection. They might know them, the, the, uh, the, 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 the business managers that we're working with, as well as anybody, they, they might talk to them more regular. And just, just even just a quick dropping in in the conversation that um, how busy we've become and what a great system we've got with uh, this new digital innovation. And perhaps I could put one of the sales team uh, in touch with you to, to give you a call and chat through and run you through a demonstration of it. So it, it, it is opening up all these opportunities for different parts of the team. And it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful wonderful opportunity for businesses to grow off the back of, uh, of the innovation. And then, of course, if you was to consider the senior management team and they can now use the benefits and the value adds of digital to steer the business forward and ensure a strong and, and, and profitable business uh, moving forward into the future. So hopefully we all want to learn and see a demonstration of Bayer's DPM. Uh, so please do come and visit us at the virtual stand. Uh, will be available for the duration of Pest Extra. Reach out to me personally, uh, gary.nicholas at bayer.com. Um, go to our website. There's lots of uh, there's lots of great content on there about the whole Bayer range and particularly uh, Bayer DPM. And you can contact us through through the website. Uh, but above all, the message here really is let Bayer and particularly myself and my colleague Richard Mosley, who many of you will know, uh, Richard's um, Richard's technical uh, knowledge in the pest control industry is, I'll say second to none, but he's very, very strong, uh, technically minded is, is Richard. And uh, let, us, let us help you through your uh, digital and uh, DPM transformation. Uh, we're here and dedicated to supporting everybody and, and really excited to share our system and our vision and our enthusiasm uh, for this transformation to integrating DPM with you. Uh, we'll be delighted to meet you, give you a demonstration of our of our system. Uh, we do have a, a dummy site that we can give you access to and try some of the functionality, play around with the dashboard and, and generally get a, uh, a feel for Bayer DPM and what it's all about, a, a try before you buy, if you like. Um, I'm going to be around to take some questions, so feel free to ask. And so finally, just, just thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, enjoy the next three days of Pest Extra and look forward to seeing you all soon.